Bobby! What's going on, buddy? <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, we are uh, looking at this here, a 2019 CF Moto uh, 800 Trail. It's quite the unit. Quite, yeah. Everyone's pretty cautious about these machines. Yeah. But uh, we have a dealer here now locally, so it's not as scary, is it? No. No, definitely not. What are your first impressions of the machine? Uh, it was mixed. It was mixed. I'm not going to lie. It, it was mixed. Um, and my wife and I test drove it. It was awesome. It rode good. Everything was nice and smooth. But when I actually picked it up and we took it out for the first trail ride, it uh, rode rough. Yeah, front suspension kept bottoming out. Um, I don't know if it was tuned to a full soft or not, but... Um, we're gonna have to uh, learn some shock adjustments and yep. adjust some preload and things like that. Yep. But uh, so everything here you say is made by CF Moto. Everything is made by without CF the Moto. obvious uh, like support from Elka and uh, CV Tech for the clutches and things like that. Yeah. And this thing is the Trail Z Force, Z Force for you Canadians, and it's 50 inch. 50 inches, yeah. And you got to bring it out on a couple rides? I did, yeah. I have, uh, there's about 300, I have about 390. 390 kilometers? Yeah. This isn't brand new. <laughs> no, 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 396 kilometers on it. It's a pretty, uh, pretty sharp machine. And it's because it, so this is Chinese made, right, or designed. Yep. And then they've, they've been in the market in, in uh, Europe for quite a while, eh? Yeah, 28 years. They, they've been doing this kind of stuff. So the interesting thing about these CF motos is they come with signals and horns and hazards yep. and so they're they're very roadworthy, eh? Uh, Starts up like a gem. Has, uh, oh, that's cute. Little uh, signals. Yeah, signals. It has uh, four ways. <laughs> it has a horn. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically a little little car. Yeah. My next step is going to be a horn. <laughs> and now, this thing has power steering. Yeah, power steering. So, electronic power steering. It is 4x4. Four four. Do you have diff lock and everything? Yeah, yeah. So, it's the same setup as uh, as the Kodiak. It has uh, your two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive button. And then you flip over the switch and then there's your diff lock. Oh, yeah, right on. So, yeah. plenty of Japanese companies do it exactly that way. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Cool. So, what is it running for tires now? What do we got here? I've never even... What is that? A, a buzz? A buzz? A buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I've never heard of these tires, but that's all right. It's got a decent trail tread and everything. And what size are they? Yeah. 26 by 9 R14. on an R14. Yeah. And they're 11 Four bolt. Back. Very similar to uh, Can-Am that way, actually. 26 by 11 on the back. Oh, 26 by 11 back here? Yeah. Anyway, it's on there somewhere, but so, so significantly wider in the back, three inches wider. So I know these are predominantly sponsored by Elka for suspension, but it looks like this one's covered in CF Moto stickers, so I don't know if uh, if they actually went with it. They do look like Stage 1 Elkas, I don't know. But they are uh, adjustable with the outside canister and everything, so... It looks like there's plenty of adjustment on the suspension. Everything's very greasable. And when you bought this model, you added in the roof and what? So, yeah, when I bought the model, um, I added the roof, the half windshield, the front bumper, the uh, the rock sliders, because our trails up here are pretty rocky, mm. and the bottom door skirt. So this comes with it. Oh, just but, to kind of keep some bigger yeah. chunks out and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, Normally, this wouldn't have the roof. This wouldn't have the front bumper, some stuff like that. Yeah, but very capable right out of the crate. Is that suspend or the uh, steering adjustable? Yeah, steering is fully adjustable. I just put it up so I can get in and out a little easier. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Huh. Airbags? Yeah. Do you have airbags? <laughs> oh, I wish. Where's your airbags, Bobby? <laughs> it's supposed well, to. Be, it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's supposed I'll to be a car. Oh, here so, comes Scott. They uh, so they do things differently. Yeah. And obviously the typical grab handle and everything. Yeah. Yeah. This year, uh, for 2019, yeah. they've made the grab handle now adjustable. Before you, you you couldn't adjust it. Oh, so like your kids can grab onto it and exactly. things like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, the 12 volt accessory. Okay. And then what's the winch. 
Oh, okay. So that's for the cable, right? Yeah. Cable, yeah. Oh, it's right on. So that's actually super handy, especially when your winch gets sketchy and you still want to use it. Oh, yeah. Cheap. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Lots of storage. There's a glove box here. There's a, a little storage box on the driver's side there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, so a little bit of storage. Were the mirrors on it? Yeah, mirrors come with it. Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, some LED lighting and stuff like that. Oh, low, yeah. low and high or yeah, what? Low, yeah, low and high. Um, and then it has uh, the LED accent lighting. That's kind of sharp. It actually kind of comes off as a bit of a Maverick Trail kind of thing. Yep. I mean, with the LED lighting and stuff, what they're doing with the new Mavericks, with the added perk of a bunch of signals and stuff. So around here and in a lot of places, we can actually ride legally on the roads and you don't have to do a single arm signal. No, nothing. No. You can actually signal in the whole bit and yep. honk at people. And So what an interesting machine. So your first impression of riding. The... So you, you get the machine, you brought it out to some trail. What was the first ride? Griffith? Yeah, first ride. No, first ride was um, took my wife. We went up to uh, the lookout in Barry's Bay. Oh, OK. Yeah, that, that was the first initial ride. And you hopped in it and you started driving it. Yeah. You and your girlfriend, wife? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, those aren't separate things. They're, no. She's one person. Yeah, she's my wife. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's all the same. Did wife, you, girlfriend. Yeah. Did you yeah. take your girlfriend or your wife? Yeah, okay. <laughs> both, both. Both. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First ride was, was to Barry's Bay and uh, we got on the rail bed. Okay. And. Um, and. With, yeah, Anne. Anne. We'll yeah. just call her Anne. Yeah. Anne. Instead of Anne. girlfriend Anne. Yeah, slash wife. Anne is my lovely wife. Okay. And, um, it did well. Uh, dirt road. It was doing well. As soon as we got into a lot of the, the like whoops and stuff like that. The whoops, yeah. The, the whoop de doots and the front suspension. It was constantly rubbing on the um the. Is that the uh, bump stop? The uh, I think that that's just piece there. I don't know. It's Anyways. basically just what holds the spring, I guess. But, yeah. Um, it, yeah. It was it was riding really rough all day long. It was constantly bottoming out the suspension means, so it was yeah, a bit okay. of a. So ride. your first impression was just it needs a suspension tune. It is, a, yeah. And that's just because of the way you got the bike, right? Yeah. And they used it as a demo or yeah. what? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. 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 So I bought it, and then there was a ride for that coming up, and the owner, of the dealer, wanted to take it and showcase it. So I said, Yeah, yeah sure. You mean not not a problem? So he put about thirty k on it, and then when I got it, then it was had to do some tuning. And now warranty on this thing, I heard, is pretty good. Yeah. So it's five year warranty um it's uh one year you have bumper to bumper and then for four years it's powertrain only but the powertrain it's great because usually powertrain it's uh engine transmission and yeah like the actual core yeah. products but you're you were saying that it actually includes everything down to whatever is actually attached to the powertrain yeah 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 so transmission engine um diffs uh axles anything that makes it that's Move. a big step up from from like big manufacturers like yeah. Can-Am, Polaris, and Honda yeah. and all them. Because exactly. when you make a claim, it better be like engine related, yeah. you know. So that's an interesting. Uh, they're making big moves, and the price tag is significantly lower. If yeah. if someone was to go out and check one of these out, keeping in mind that you added a few things, mm -hmm. you were thinking somewhere around the fifteen grand ballpark. Yeah, fifteen thousand will get you into what you see and, here, excluding yeah. what I added on to it. Yeah, and that's Canadian pesos, right? And that's Canadian. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. like monopoly money, basically. So it's all fake anyway. The the bank will give you all the Canadian pesos you want. Oh, of course, they have all kinds of money. Yeah, for sure. So what size winch is on it? Um, it's a three thousand pound winch. I mean, so it's not it's not a big boy, but uh, no. But I mean, this machine's what like in the eleven hundred, twelve hundred pound ball yeah, ballpark. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so with like you and the wife in it, it's only fifty pounds heavier. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> um, um, the uh, the thing I found weird is uh, the free spool. You know, there's a free spool motion uh, on a winch. Yeah. You need to have a really small girly hand to get to that. Click. So bring your wife. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's way, so you have to go. You have to put your Let me hand see if I can here. Get a shot of that. Right in here, you have to like, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's in the there. standard location on the opposite yeah. end of the motor. Yeah. Okay. You usually mean you get through it through the front or whatever, but. Yeah. Well, it's just designed. I mean, they they put some like little splash guards and stuff like that. There's no skid plates, is there? Uh, just in the center, but that's like your plastic ballistic or whatever. Yeah, it's there. the same thing I've got on my bike. Yeah. It's just plastic. Mine's plastic yeah. too. So, I mean, geez, you can't really argue with the price tag and what they're nope. offering. Nope. 
And with that warranty and dealers and the market kind of spreading out, I mean, even our little town's got a got a CF Moto now. So yeah, exactly. you're going to see more and more of these. I'll be curious to see how this goes in the next couple, you know, like a year or so, like after next season, for example, yeah. when we're riding with RCATV or something. I'll be curious how uh, how, how she holds, holds up. up. Yeah. I mean, you do have the warranty to cover you in that period. Mm -hmm. um, and and the five year part of the warranty and that that was what like generic failures. What was the other part of the warranty? Because you had your powertrain for yeah, the one power year. Powertrain, yeah, and and then it, everything is covered. Uh, wear parts, that's not covered. Like your brakes are not covered. Yeah, it's super standard. Yeah, 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 super standard. You mean, but everything else will be covered. If they covered that, I would jump ship pretty quick. Oh my quick. god, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Especially with Can Am, because their brakes last as long as you buy them. Yeah. <laughs> you walk out of the store and they're already wearing, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, it does, I have it off, but it does come with the, uh, the Reese part. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. I just got this one here. And I'm seeing four-wheel brake, so none of that fancy uh, Can-Am three-wheel brake business. Yep. Um, we were looking at this air boot. What were you saying? So this is so so apparently this is uh the crank, the crank Cr tube. crank case or yeah, yeah, yeah crank so, case right, and then this comes around there, and then it's, it's kind of in a bad spot. Yeah. So we're probably gonna. And it's actually convenient if I want to snorkel that with you and just kind of yeah. dump it somewhere, even if it's just a little higher, like underneath the box. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like diff breathers, I'm I'm seeing diff breathers. Yeah. So um, I see tubes going everywhere. So. Yeah. The um, the, the diff breather um, it used to just come up and just kind of hang around here, right? But okay. the mechanic there made it and he put it up as high as he could because he didn't like where right. it was. So he already rerouted that tire. <clears throat> so I mean, if we run a pipe for that crankcase, we can just run all of your your breathers up with it too, and that wouldn't be expensive. That'd be like thirty bucks. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I'm sure every machine's got their issues, but uh, we're gonna find them out and work on them. And when uh, you've got some more seat time, I think we'll we'll come back and and see you know what it's all about and see if Moto and all that. Yep. Yeah, sure. But it's uh, what color options do they have? Uh, so. The blue, they have black and orange. Okay, so they have a few color options. Yeah, yeah. and it's painted plastic. Oh, actually painted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's handy. Duck will paint, yeah. <clears throat> That's actually uh, a little higher end than my super expensive Can-Am in the garage. Because <laughs> uh, when I hit a few ice bits there, and it deforms the plastic, and, and the painted plastic won't create those stretched, you know, faded out plastic things. So like, if it's painted, you'll actually do much better that oh, way. Yeah. And cup holders, super jealous about that. Cup holders. Uh, the seat is just like a player's razor. It comes out exactly the same way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, the seat and the seat is adjustable. Join it. You got to uh, take out, loosen these for bolts, and you can slide it back and forth. Back yeah, and, forth. and a lot of aftermarket, if you want a different oh, seat, yeah. just bolts onto that. So. Yeah. Well, that's pretty handy. Yeah, and then the battery box, and, I mean, and so, so it's and all pretty. Your Timmy's cup storage. Oh, Tim Hortons, yeah. Yeah, well, you gotta have that. Oh yeah. Without your Timmy's, we'd all die. Yep. Canadians live off that. It's our lifeblood. So there it is. This is the 2018. 19. 19. 19. Yeah. So, well, okay, the 2019, brandy, brandy new. Yeah. 800 trail. Yeah. Z Force. Z Force for Americans. <laughs> in case you got lost in translation yeah. and you go to order a z-force <laughs> oh, awesome. silly americans uh, the air breather that's another thing that you might have just a later date that was like maybe put up a little higher or oh okay it's just i find that like look at the e-brake yeah i have i'm not a big side-by-side -side guy is that normal yeah. having an e-brake okay fair enough i guess one extra cable never hurt hmm. one last question these so you've got your horn there. I see yep. low and high beam. Yeah. Hazard left and right signals. Oh yeah. So it's not like a a, a column switch where no. like a truck or anything, but it's right there. Yep. Okay. Yep. And, then um, let's see. I'll start it up there. It's, it's all. It's, it's an all di di digital gauge. It's really nice. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so this is your obviously your run and not run switch. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Put, and then this is your reverse o override. Oh, is that so you can run yeah. a little higher RPM in reverse? reverse yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the horn, then high beams, low beams. You and got then... quite the cluster there. Yeah. Look at that, eh? Mm -hmm. You know how many manufacturers don't have a temperature gauge? Lots. Lots. Yeah. 
Yeah, so look at that. So it's a handy unit, mister. Yeah, we're pretty happy with it. The kids like it anyways. I think uh, we'll take it for a little spin afterwards. Yep. I'll get a towel so we don't have soggy butt. Yep. Uh, thanks for showing me this, man. Cool, man. Yeah, no, no pressure. So, uh, yeah, we'll cut to that footage when we get to it. And, uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. So there it is. Cool. The 800 Trail Z-Force. <laughs> Z-Force. <laughs> if you say Z-Force or Canadian Yeah, Force, yeah, 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 yeah. Very confusing. Yeah. Uh, CF Moto. So uh, that was locally purchased here in Pembroke. And uh, you might want to keep an eye on these machines. I know they're they're out there, but... You might see more and more of these with a price tag like that. I just want to see how they're going to do with longevity because this is the second generation set of CF Motos here in North America. And uh, people's opinion of the first generation wasn't very good. But I mean, for the price tag, it might apply still to like the generic trail goer oh, yeah. or something like that. Very cool, man. All right, we'll get to it. Okay, Bobby, so you're letting me drive this thing? I'm going to let you take the thing for a rip, man, so you can get the first impression of it. Well, I'll be gentle, because uh, Anne is going to get uh, worried, and don't want her worried. No, 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 no we'll no, be, we'll play worried, nice. Then I get in trouble, and if I get in trouble, we'll, we'll play then... nice. She's very nice to let us do this, though. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, weird. Yep. This is not an ATV at all, Scott. Oh, I, wait, seatbelt. That's weird. Outlanders don't come with seatbelts. Make sure you give your door a little smack. Okay. Yeah, keep keep going. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah that has to be a or probably oh, just it's breaking in. I'm not yeah. good at the seatbelt thing. No, and I used to wear full face with it, but I find I can't see enough to... How's that go? Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, it's... Weird. I can actually reach this mirror. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Okay. A lot of headroom. Yeah. Us uh, short little Canadians are good to go. Weird. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. It's uh, it takes a minute, eh, to actually? Yeah. Yes, it's actually okay. I uh, am not used to uh, taking an off-road style vehicle with mirrors and stuff. You'd think it's just like driving a truck, but kind of no. isn't. Can I signal? <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. I could. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> All right. experience this is for me. Oh, I bet, eh? Yeah. Your quad, that's... Yeah, this is not, uh... Yeah. Okay. It'll be interesting to see how the video turns out, too. Yeah. I guess they can basically see what I see, but... Ah, uh, let's signal. Why not? We oh, have it. We have it. It's Hopefully. a CF Moto. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Buy a CF Moto because it has signals. <laughs> it's like a crotch rocket or something. You have to switch yeah. it back. Yeah, I guess if you push the ass, it'll click off when you come back. So when this thing actuates and the clutches come in, it's actually pretty touchy. It's got plenty of response. Yep. And I mean, it drives nice and straight. Everything's good. It's uh, got a pretty small steering wheel. Yeah. I guess you get used to stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think it's to be meant for a bigger guy. No, so like, I'm like 5'9", maybe 170 pounds. Not a very big dude at all. And so I didn't adjust the seat or anything, so you and I are obviously around the same size. Yep. Have a rear view option? They do, yeah. Oh, okay. I can't actually see a whole lot with this. 
Maybe like... Yeah, you kind of have to lean into it a little bit. I get a lot of the cage. Interesting. The head to rig is not bad. It's not as aggressive as a Can Am though. No, the yeah. Can Am, you, you pretty much stop. So it must have a little sprag clutch on the yeah. primary or something? We had something we'll have to uh, dig into this more exploratory. Yeah. Well, from what I understand, CV Tech clutches are pretty well standard across the board. Yeah. They make them for pretty much every application, so. the four wheels all on demand and everything except yep. for a diff lock right yeah exactly okay you don't have to be in neutral though do you nope what a weird thing for me <laughs> yeah. just gonna let it warm up before i actually give it anything but yeah hey, Robin, so what does your bike weigh my bike is about 950 pounds. Yeah, that's good. So this is not much heavier than yours. No, it really isn't. I, I'd be willing to estimate like 1,100, 1,200 pounds, right? Yeah, 1,200 pounds. Yeah, okay. So with you and I in it, it's like 1,500. Yeah. When you and the wife are in it, it's, it's only 1,100. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know these trails aren't uh, exactly the best to get an understanding for everything, but... It's fun. It gives the people that you mean, like, like, in case of the clutch, you mean, and smoothness, and the speed, and stuff like that, right? So the brakes are actually nice and smooth. The, uh... You kind of have to get used to the throttle, though. Yes. That first engagement, yep. it's a little bumpy. It is soft, eh? Yeah, that's, that's, but she, and, and, and she turned and dipped. Like, dipped yeah, and dipped. it's got a, not a whole lot of body roll, but it's kind of ghosty feeling. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out some adjustments for that. Yep. There's a trail up ahead, and I'm pretty sure there's no mud or anything, so we can keep, keep it clean. Oh yeah. Because cleaning in the winter is a pain. Yeah. I'm waiting for a lot of snow and ice and stuff to come down and then we can just win a rip. Well, on that uh, other ride to Chris with, and got it pretty muddy. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. She wants to be crazy everybody. It's got some, uh, it still has some new smells coming yeah. off of it. There's a lot of like reflective tape and stuff around the exhaust and all yeah. that, so. I'm sure you've got a little mud in a few places too. My bike constantly smells like cooked mud. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can do this a little more smoothly. Yeah, it's got a bit of a bump, eh? Yeah. I barely gave it any throttle there. It's got a lot of go. Yeah, yeah. Well, what it is, so um, it's rated at 61 horses. 60? 61, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Yeah. Most 800s are around that ballpark anyway. Yep. Yeah. Even uh, the Defender 1000s rated at 74 horse. I mean, they play with some of the money or some of the tuning and stuff like yeah. that, but it's plenty capable and competitive in the market, especially for the oh price. God, yeah. I don't even know if anybody's going to hear what we're saying, but... Uh, <laughs> but you know, and that's what I think. It, it's a little louder than a four-wheeler, but it's nice to be like side-by-side, side, right? You know, we can talk to the person. Well, yeah, this uh, this is very not normal for Mainville ATV and outdoors. No. Okay. There's a trail right here I like to go to. Signal. Signal, signal! Signal! Safety first! More like safety third, but... <laughs> yeah! Is this okay? Oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah. I Don't be afraid, man, just give her. I just wanted to get off the rail bed. Oh, yeah. 
So we're in ruts right now that are like typical side by side in the 60 inch ballpark. Yeah. And uh, this being 50 inches, it's kind of like in a quad. Well, yeah. So I'm falling in and out of different ruts. So I guess that's a minor downfall, but the 50 inch is kind of nice because you can go anywhere a typical ATV can, yeah. other than some height and stuff yeah. like that. And but think, I and think for lengthwise, it's not that it's not, it's probably a little longer than your quad, right? Oh yeah, it's a little longer. Yeah, I've got one of the longer quads on the market, but uh, you've got a little length on me anyway. Yeah. There's a joke in there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere around there. Okay, so let's talk, uh, let's try just a little bit of low. I want to feel your bull low here. Yeah. Did it actuate? Yes, yeah, it, there you go. Oh, okay, all yeah. right. So just give her a little, give oh, her a little. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's significantly different. Yeah, it's, oh yeah. It's much more comfortable in low. Yeah. It's the initial takeoff is a lot more smooth. Okay, not that it wasn't that bad. I'm, I'm not used to this thing, obviously, but oh no, right? It's got a nice low gear. It's not uh, like my wife's Kodiak. It has like a bull low. It's super low. This is uh, much more like my Outlander. Yeah, it, 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 it's still <clears> it's, magical, like drive low. It's, like. it's got some punch. You know what I mean? So that's good. I'm curious how the steering reacts to a, uh, a four high scenario. So that's all electric. It came on really easy. Yeah. Okay. So the steering is uh, very standard for when you go into four wheels. It's a little stiffer. You can feel it pulling instead of yeah. pushing now. That's good. That's not bad at all, actually. It's really comfortable. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it takes the bumps nice, right? Like, it's... I can see why everybody's into these side-by-sides. I'm super comfortable right now. Yeah, well, and, and because it, it's like, um, like, uh, uh, the, uh, the Defender, you're 60 inch, right? You mean, so you, you probably, like, at least up to here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, you almost feel, almost, almost feel at home. So I like having the back support and everything like that because like when I'm done a 200 kilometer ride on my Outlander, it feels like I got into a fight. Oh, I, no doubt. That thing is stiff. It, it's, like, it's a horse and buggy. It's what I keep calling it. Yeah. But uh, so in ride comfortability, it's kind of like uh, my wife's Kodiak is a, is a very pillow plush ride. Yeah. It's set up really soft right now, this machine here. So, yeah. um, well. Okay, let's. Uh, I just want to check this side out. If it's a little muddy, we'll stay out of that for today. Oh, but feel free. Well, no, we gotta wash the thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I think because it's new, it's probably still still a little stiff. I guess. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. Well, we'll see how that does long term. Anyway, we'll yeah. do uh, another review video. Uh, I wonder if. Can we, oh, there we go. It's it's just like a lot of four by fours. You have to wiggle the steering a little bit, and it comes sure. out. A lot of them have like a 16 position diff lock, right. so you have to kind of meet one of those positions for it to actually engage for the front diff and stuff like that. Right. Or a transfer case or something like that. So uh, if you give the steering a wiggle, typically you'll be able to reach one of those 16 points if you're in between them. Right. They're not all 16 points, but that's pretty standard. This thing is... Uh, I'm quite impressed. My first impression is pretty good. I have a lot of ideas as to what I thought a CF Moto would be like. Yeah, oh, same here. I mean, I'll, I'll think about like, you know, like the uh, the gold cards you can get from TSC. You know, they're like the car by one. Explain what TSC is because most of my viewers are American. Okay, <laughs> the, uh, the tractor supply store. Yeah, tractor supply store, yeah. 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 It, uh, it's like a a generic mom and pop hardware store yeah. that made it. Okay. Let's see if, how it climbs here. It's dealing really well. When I want to climb out of a rut, it doesn't care. I'm in two wheel now. The ground's still soft, but it's starting to get cold out. Oh, I, 
I'm really liking this actually. Yeah. That's quite the machine. Okay. And what do we get? Oh, par oh, I see. I'm not even looking at the right thing. I was waiting for it to come oh, up on the deck. <laughs> I'm quite the reviewer, eh? I'm very professional. Oh, well, yeah. Leave nothing out. All the mistakes. The power steering is... Uh, it's nice. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. Um, that um, on most manufacturers, the faster you go, it, it cuts it down. I don't think it's like that. Enough. I think it's the same smoothness all the way through. At higher speeds, is it yeah. kind of touchy? Yeah. Because uh, my, my Outlander is throttled back at speeds. Okay. Because uh, you don't want to be doing 100, and not that we would. We would never do 100. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. We're but responsible. let's say we did in this hypothetical scenario. Yeah. It throttles back the power steering the faster you go. Right. I mean, we'll never know, right? No, 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 no. Because, no, no. <clears throat> uh, you know, speeding is careless. Yeah, that's terrible. But I'm in high gear, I'm two wheel. The ground's significantly softer than it probably looks. And it's, it's just maintaining, it's not revving high or doing any funny business. Nope. Let's see if we can get a, uh, an RPM, there we go, so. Okay, so we're around 3,100 RPM, 33, 35. And uh, we're just hubbing along. I wonder what actuation is on these clutches. Okay, so our idle RPM is about 1350. I'm gonna start throttling up. Oh, it's about 1500 from what I saw that it engages. Yeah. So it's pretty tight tolerance. And then your typical, like, I'm working in the backyard speeds is anywhere from 3000 to 3500 ish. Yeah. And that's in high gear. I wonder how that changes. Okay, now we're in low. Oh, and that's like instantly. As oh, soon as I touch yeah. the throttle. That's an instant engagement. They've got it timed right, like really well. Okay. What? Everything's smooth. Everybody in, in North America is having a him and haw right now about, you know, dealer market. How do we get parts? Uh, Oh, but they're Chinese. My first impression is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's for me. I'm not much of a side-by-side -side guy. I think it would be nice to cruise. Like yeah. if I was made of money and I wanted a third machine, I, I wouldn't be opposed to getting something in this price range just for like trail riding and stuff. Oh yeah. As far as mudding and all of that business, I, I need to see more. I think it would be capable, but I'm worried about longevity still. Yeah. Now, you do have the warranty to back you up like we talked about. And they're doing that to build confidence. And that's exactly what it is. Like, I'm sure once they start selling big numbers, they're probably going to change. Yeah, change make some prices, changes. Yeah, and prices right? might go up a little bit. Yeah. And we were at the Power Sports show, and we saw that mud edition that they did a concept for. That is crazy. Yeah, so I, I think they want to play ball. They just want to see who will bite. Yeah. And I'd love to have uh, have one of them out, just see how it compares to our bikes. Oh yeah, for sure. So, I mean, zero effort on the power steering. I don't feel it changing whatsoever. Because like right about now on my bike, you'd feel it getting stiffer. Uh, just because it's throttling back the electronic power steering. Yeah. But uh, she's all warmed up now. She's at running temp. It's keeping really cool. I mean, the weather is pretty cold. I don't know what we're doing. Like, it's what, maybe zero right now? Maybe yeah, minus one, zero. minus two? That's Celsius. So up here, we measure in science and not freedom. <laughs> so uh, yeah. you guys can go online and use the calculator. Minus two. What's zero? Like 32 Fahrenheit? Yeah. In freedom? I don't know why they measure in apple pies, but they do. Um... So the, the clutch back for him. I didn't have to use the brake at all and everything was, was great. So I, I think I'll give it a bit of a spirited oh. stretch if that's okay. That sounds good. You know what? I was being a little reserved 
reserved for the obvious reason. Yeah. I don't want to go torching your, your guys' bike, but that was effortless. So, not bad. We're going to have to do like a CF Moto versus Outlander. I think, we're gonna, I think that's going to have to be done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, when you guys get some more seat time and... Uh, you get a couple more scratches on it, a little forgiving. Yeah. We'll do something with it for sure. But uh, that was good. I thoroughly enjoyed this. My back doesn't hurt. You know, it's not torching my ears out. No. <laughs> well, yeah, Doug, right? And that's why that I like about it, right? Because you, you, you can go for an entire day and get out and feel fine. But like, like even am I in there, you know, you go for a long ride and you get up and you feel it. Yeah. It's a nice family machine. Yep. I hope they do a four-seater one day. Oh, me too. Like a compact four-seater or something. But anyway, we'll zip on home and uh, that was great. So that was the ride, buddy. That was the ride, man. That was good. We'll get her lined up for you anyway. But uh, that was cool. Yeah. So my first impression, uh, I mean, I know you've had a ride or two, but... Uh, Maybe not as bad as I thought. Maybe. I need to see some longevity. Yep. I like being comfortable, but I think that's just because I'm not used to side-by-sides. Um, having a signal is unique and actually awesome for some fucking reason. But, no, it's great. So, uh, super stoked about this. Thanks for bringing it by, buddy. Oh, no, anytime, man. That was cool. Hey, Diesel. Hey, buddy. You don't recognize me with my helmet on? These all. You want to try it? You can try it. Take it for a rip. Oh, that's it for the ride. Thanks, buddy. No problem.